superstition and the modern world. What is my stand? What is my stand as a business person? And what is my stand as an African? Right. Okay, so as we all know and I've seen on the internet about the situation concerning our brother Fred, an agribusinessman, a philanthropist, you know, somebody who has lived um, some part of his life outside this country and outside this continent studying and has decided to come back to his home, uh, his motherland, you know, to practice what he has learned, you know, and the experiences that he has gathered over the world in terms of business and in terms of philanthropy and for business in the direction of agribusiness, which I am very particular about. You know, if, if, if you look at the, the real situation, okay, and what is the real situation in the first place? Let me give a background story as much as I know, right? Um, so Fred, as we all know, is, uh, is, is, is um, the host of uh, Farming in Africa, a YouTube channel that we all know and take inspiration from one, one way or the other. And now this, our brother, has been asked by the community in which his farm, his good farm, is located to evacuate and the reason is that the land and and the custodians of the land the chiefs and the the traditional rulers according to them is is a taboo to raise goats on the land okay so that is a problem that we are trying to deal with. I'm trying to comprehend, okay? And come to think of it, as a business person, as a 21st century business person, it is easy for me to say, you know, we are in the modern world and a lot of things should be reassessed, you know, because come to think of it, it is said, and what is said is partially true that laws, if not holistically true, that laws are made for human beings. Human beings are not made for laws. And I repeat it again. Laws are made for human beings. Human beings are not made for laws. Or human beings were not made for laws. And what does that mean? What it means is, it's because of, it's because of human beings that laws were made. You know, laws were made so that it will govern human beings and our actions and inactions, right? And straighten the path of society. And also, what it also means is that if at every point, laws, the people who made the laws realize that maybe um, during this time, because of this A, B, and C, it is very important that we set up these laws. We make this kind of you know regulations traditions and customs to govern us but at that time it was very necessary for reason a or reason b fast forward time has you know evolved our, our lives have evolved and therefore Certain customs, certain traditions, certain laws that we made for ourselves. Because of how we are living now, it is becoming necessary that we amend them. We have to amend them. Amendment is important. That's why even in our laws, in our parliament, there's always 
always an amendment bills you know there is a law and then you realize that the law is not performing its functions as at now currently so we should amend them okay so as a modern businessman and, and as a modern you know person this the um the first thought will be that okay if even if it was a tradition that um goods were not supposed to be raised it was a taboo that goods should not be raised on the land there has been time has evolved is it not time for an amendment of that tradition an amendment of that laws and rules so on the other hand you can't say because laws are made human beings cannot change them because human beings were the reason why why the laws were made and so when we realize that the laws are not really you know um performing its function at the current considering the current state and the current life that we are living we have to amend them we, okay the human beings were not created because they were lost all right so that is it for that side a, a section of you know the net a section of netizens believe that okay it is high time that these laws these purported you know customs be reviewed and if it, it so happens that they are no more of um, real relevance. They should be, you know, maybe scrapped, or it should be, uh, it should be an adjustment, but not, you know, because if you if you look at it, eh, we are growing in numbers as a country, as Africans, as a continent. Okay, maybe by the time that these rules were made. We were just, for example, you were just 2 million. Because this is a very long time. Let's say the whole country, we were just 2 million in population. Okay. So the need for, you know, such businesses, go to rearing or any such businesses, maybe the need for it wasn't that much. And so it was like, if those laws are made, they won't, they won't really affect the netizens or the citizens because after all meat is accessible food is readily accessible back then but fast forward to 21st century 2000, 2000 2010 2020 you know 2023 we realized that the population has increased we are now 35 to 40 million people in the country. There should be, there should be innovation. There should be innovation, right, in our, in our lives, in things we do and things we need to do. Because if back then food was readily available, and because of that, we we there is a law that no person should farm more than. Two acres now food is not readily available should there not be an amendment to say now food is food is hard to come by so if you want to farm initially you cannot farm more than five acres two acres but now because of the situation you should be able to farm 10 20 acres for me i think that is how it should be for me as an as as, as a modern business person i feel like that is how it should be because the society now demands it okay but on the flip side me as an african the african in me also thinks that okay traditions are traditions laws are laws as far as they have not been amended they must be followed are you, are you getting where I'm coming from? As far as the laws has not been amended yet, 
they are still lost. Okay, so because of that, if I mean to go into any business, every business is guided by laws. That's why we have the Companies Act in the Constitution in the 1992 Constitution of Ghana. Every business is, is guided by laws. Okay, so if I want to make if I want to go into every any business, I will have to study the laws governing that business okay if there is some part of the laws that i don't understand and i feel like they should be amended well i can you know i can suggest that they should be amend they should be amended but as far as they have not yet been amended i have to follow them i have to follow the laws and abide by them okay so i'm giving these two sides for you that you're listening to me to also bring your what you think about it which which side do you really support because the full story you and i don't really know to be very honest before you pass a judgment you should be very careful because the full story you and i don't really know it let's be honest about this you and i don't really know what the full story is because people don't just come up, wake up one day and set up business. They are line at list of activities that they do to before they decide to do what? Go into any business to, or to set up any business. So for me, as an agribusiness person, I feel very sorry for our brother. And I hope and pray that, you know, um, there happen to be some negotiations between him or his company and the traditional rulers, you know, for um, there to be an amicable solution. All right, because we love to see these beautiful agribusiness stories. We love to see them. We want we we want our youth to go into agribusiness. This is what we have been preaching. Go into agribusiness. Go into agribusiness. But if you are facing with, we are being faced with with such challenges. I will also expect that the traditional rulers, the makers of the rules and the enforcers thereof, should be able to, you know, come to our level to be able to, you know, let make things happen. All right. So that is this is my 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 take concerning this issue of uh, Fred and um, farming for Africa, and I. And I believe strongly that something good will come up. Something good will come up one way or the other. All right. So my name is Yao Asimpi Zechere. And as always, this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Today, I came to visit our factories. We've not been um, active here for the past uh, month or few weeks because of the seasons, uh, because of what um, the season that we are in. All right, this is we are preparing for the next season and we are also you know giving out information to farmers and uh, potential farmers potential maize farmers for that matter so that in the next season you know um activities will be even much much more than the years that has, that has um passed all right so once again i'm telling you if you need maize you're a poultry farmer you are an animal feed production company, you are a beer production company, and you need maize in quality maize in large quantities. Hit us up and let's make this happen. My name is Yawasim Pisachira once again, and this is Ashko TV, your official YouTube channel for Acid House Commodities. Until we meet in the next one, it's bye bye for now.